Can anyone relate to not knowing which notebook you wrote the thing down in? I think I wrote it down in here. A list of writing prompts. And the next one is reasons not to write. That's what the kids call ironic. Okay, reasons not to write. Let's do it. Screen went dark. Okay, here we go. Reasons not to write. Because I woke up feeling anxious about not going to the wedding I haven't been invited to. And because the anxiety feels like an irresistible pull down an energetic drain, like a never ending toilet flush. It feels like I should make up a bunch of excuses to have at the ready. Oh, my cat's having an operation that day. Oh, I'm having an operation that day. Uh, I've got a new job and I have to be out of town for a training. I'm getting my couch steam cleaned. I'm allergic to shellfish. I'm remodeling the kitchen. I'm actually already going to this other wedding in Bali. <clears throat> I run through all of these in my head anxiously before realizing that the toilet flush has become stronger now. It's requiring me to swim extra hard to keep my head above the tsunami. Now I'm roped into going to this wedding I don't want to go to that I haven't been invited to, meaning I have to find a dress. You have to get a new dress for a wedding. It's pretty much the law, especially when you don't want to be there. Women understand this. It's the inverse law of looking good versus feeling good. If only we could just reach into the closet and pull out a suit. No, it doesn't work that way. 
So now I'm anxious and resentful about spending money on this new dress to wear to this wedding I don't want to go to that I most likely won't be invited to attend, but you have to do it all. Shoes, that's a whole separate shopping experience. Nails, plan a week ahead for that. Hair, I mean, let's not go crazy. I do my own hair. Okay, don't be unrealistic in this anxiety landscape in my mind in the future. Come on. But anyway, there's travel and dealing with people at the wedding, which which is, oh, <laughs> there's travel and dealing with people at the wedding. Which is worse, dealing with people you know or dealing with people you don't know? At least people you know are characters in the thing you're writing. People you don't know are just people you don't know, you know? Set decoration, mood, filler. I'm just mood and filler most of the time, thank God. I'd rather just blend into the background unless I'm prepared and I've consented and I'm wearing a new dress and heels and my nails are done. Okay, right, I'm supposed to be at this wedding. Okay, I'm there. The ceremony is nice, actually. I do love ritual, and it's great people watching. Neither of them believe in God, so they're both pretty awkward up there. That's okay. No one believes in God anymore. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe someone's grandma here believes in God. Scanning the crowd. Aha, there's a grandma. She's smiling. She's crying. She's wearing lace gloves. I love this grandma. Close up on her face. One side is a little wet. Soft wrinkly skin. Oh my God, grandma. Love grandmas. Okay, okay, okay. I'm supposed to not want to be at this wedding. Crank it back up, Elovich. Fast forward. Reception. Okay, here's awkward city center. Seated next to the other randoms at the back table. Food, fine. Music, too loud. Grandma? Up at the front. I need to say congratulations now before the dancing starts. Why didn't they do a receiving line? It's always, it always mystifies me why in my anxiety fantasies, why it's so much more complicated than it needs to be. I guess that's why they're anxiety fantasies. I'm not even trying to resist the toilet tsunami at this point. This is, this is entertainment. So now I have to weave my way up to their table, get around those wedding photographers, worst people on the planet, I would know, I used to be one, and then go in for a hug. Oh geez, she is smashed and her tiara is sharp, ouch. And now him, oh cute, he forgot my name. And now I'll just get out of here, slip out the side. Whoa, someone just pulled me onto the dance floor. Who is this guy? No thanks, not my thing but he won't let go of my wrist and he's spinning me around and there's a crowd around us. I'm supposed to know the steps. It's a line dance pop-up improv thing with claps and jumps and shimmies. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now this part, uh-huh, uh-huh, right? Yes, slide to the right, uh-huh, uh-huh. Two times, uh-huh, yeah, great. Got it. Yay, is it over? It's over. And now I can weave my way back to the table, find my bag, the mini cannolis. There are mini cannolis. They're tempting, but you know what? A mini cannoli filled with cheese and covered with powdered sugar is actually really hard to eat without an espresso to wash it down. I'm sorry, it just, it doesn't go with sparkling water or wine and they haven't started coffee service yet. This is the specificity of my anxiety fantasies, people. Do you understand how hard I have to work to keep this never-ending flush going? They haven't started coffee service yet. At this wedding I never wanted to go to, that I had to go to, where the cannolis came out too early, and it's making me anxious that there's no coffee service yet, and that is my reason to not write today. <laughs>